Right, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to drill a hole approximately 30 mil deep. We've got that piece in the lathe now. What I'm going to do is uh, I just have to shorten this down to suit uh, the actual height for the uh, where the tool goes. Now, once I've done that, uh, we need to put a recess on the face of that so we put a magnet into it. What I've done now is, as you can see, I've taken a few thou off that. It didn't really need much. And uh, what I'll do, I'll pull it out and then remeasure it. What I'm trying to do, which you shouldn't be doing, is I've got a 10 mil, 10 mil end mil, and I'm trying to cut a square hole in there. And uh, apparently, this particular piece of metal I didn't realise, so I pretty well worked it all out. Had a, a little hole drilled in the side of it, so it's a fraction awkward to do. So I just have to take it really easy. Alright, I've removed the actual end mill that I was uh, starting to put in, well just to open the hole up a bit. And what I'll do, I'll take this out another mill and that'll be just about right size for the magnet to go in there. Right, that's sitting on 11 mil. So what I'll do, I'll just take a touch out, just start off the base down the bottom.
Yes, that's sitting on about three mil in depth at the moment. I've got the, about eleven mil or just a touch over eleven mil in depth in width. And uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that is the magnet that's going in. It's 12 mil by, I think it's 3 mil in thickness. Actually, it's uh, 5 mil, so I'll have to go another 2 mil in. Another 2 mil. Alright, what I'm going to do now is, uh, that's approximately where it should be. That's uh, just a touch over 5mm in width, which means that will go in. I want it to go just a fraction below the surface there. So it's got magnetic field holding it, but I don't want it if I can. We'll just see how it fits in, uh, instead of having it right smack on. But anyway, I might put a touch of... Uh, hot glue or something in there, put that in and then we'll see how we go from there. Alright, we finished machining our piece now. Now what I've done is, uh, I've got this piece here. Now I ended up actually cutting that out to 12 millimeter, and the actual magnet, uh, which you can see there, that's that center piece. The magnet's actually uh, 12 mil, but I've actually made it a fraction deeper so uh, I had a bit for extra adjustment if I needed it. But anyway, I've left a hole in the side here. The reason being is if I need to, I can whip out the magnet. <laughs> well, maybe I can, I don't know. And now the other side here, as you can see, uh, that's all nice and flat. And that's where the bolt goes. Now, if we put that straight down like so, then that would be okay if you you had a cutter which was upside down you could actually turn around and, and put that in now that on my particular machine is 114 mil from the base to there then you bring that around and you put your tool on there for your tool height right that's fine then what i've done is um, i started off to make this uh, flat piece here if we can get focus in yeah that's close enough uh, now that is faced both sides, so it's, they're both exactly, this one's 5mm, originally I was going to make it a lot thicker than that, but on my particular one I decided to make that 5 So then we've got our little 6mm uh, bolt here, I think you can see that, yeah that's close enough. Now that will go into here like so, that screws on here, so Okay, so what we do is, then what we do, we pull that out uh, right across that's directly opposite. So that'll come out like so. We do it up with an Allen key. So that's pretty well, that's dead tight there. So what, what we've actually got is we've got a double gauge here. If we put on the top here, we can actually tool, put the tool upside down and do a reverse cut or whatever we want. This part here, if we put that in like so, see that'll sit nice and square. That that's got a magnet there, so that's all right. Bit of junk underneath it, but being a magnet, of course. There you go. You, could, you heard that. That's 
nice and uh, steady steady now what we'll do is we'll bring our tool around like so Let's see if I can zoom in a bit there now okay so what will happen there is if we bring that underneath here whoops <laughs> what am I doing uh, that actually fits underneath there nice just just fits under it and that's all so that cutting tip is actually sitting up against this underneath there like so so now that also this is just a matter of uh, taking the tool out and putting another tool in adjusting it which will take two seconds because I've already got my height there and so what will happen I'll just remove that for a second otherwise it's going to be in the road Now, as you can see, that is a, a, a nice clean cut. There's no nipples or dimples or whatever you want to call them. There's nothing there that's nice and straight. Now, like I said, if I turn the tool upside down, which I haven't got one set up at this stage, uh, that'll be for cutting threads backwards. Or if you want to go on the reverse and cut from a hole inside and then come out, you can do that as well. Alright, I thought I'd give you a proper close-up look, it's a bit far away the other way, but you can see that that's all machined, there's a 6mm thread in there, 6x1, and upside down here you, you've got a good view of the 12mm magnet and everything in there, so that's quite well done. You've got your 6mm plate, which goes on top, and you've got your 6mm bolt. But what I've done is, I've just taken a bit of the black off so it looks nice and shiny on top, Alright, I'm just uh, screwing the top back on. Must be a bit of uh, dirt on the threads there, but anyway, that's not a problem. Just for this sake, I mean, if, if you look at it, there's no gaps or anything like that. It's all fully sealed, so that's good. And like I said, all we do is just, you can either lock it like that if you want to store it, turn it like back to front, tighten it, and then you've got your surface underneath here, and you've got a surface on top. So you, you, it's a double-ended tool. So that is for your normal type of uh, cutting away, and that's for your upside down.